What's up guys, thank you for watching another video. Today we're gonna be doing episode two of the 1999 Mitsubishi Eclipse build. It is currently automatic, another sacrilege, but uh, today we're gonna focus on going to the junkyard and accessing all the parts needed to be able to do the manual swap on it. To update you guys on the other Mitsubishi Eclipse, these wheels are too tight in there. I honestly, I love how they look, but they're not functional at all. I probably won't be keeping them on this car. I will be changing them soon. As far as the junkyard goes, if you guys never actually been to one, you do have to pay an entrance fee, I think of like two or three dollars just to get in. And you do have to take your own tools and basically take everything that you want out of the car yourself. I'll probably take these. Um, I'm gonna watch take the breaker bar. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Um, I'll put you guys on the GoPro and let's get to the junkyard. So Danny's already there. He's actually by the DSM already, so let's go meet up with him. Uh, I see Danny. Oh, it's an RS. That's the base model. Yeah. 420. Is this a transmission for it? No. Nah. I was about to say, they that, did all that, the work. That would have been nice. Dude, though, I yeah. know. Let me check it out. Let's see. Uh, 188,000 miles. It's high mileage, but gotta work with what you got. Has a ricer tail light. High rise wing. Is this the only one here? Yeah. It is. The other one's an SB. All right, so we pulled up the full build thread on 2GNT.com. If you guys are looking to do this, I'll put the link in the description for you guys to see. Um, it's basically saying we're gonna need the transmission with shift arm, speed sensor with gear, speed sensor plug with six inch of wire, reverse sensor with six inch of wire. Um, of course, your clutch, your throw bearing, we'll get that new. You do need the transmission mount. There's a difference between the manual and automatic. You need the rear stopper bracket, the driver's side transmission mount bracket, the shift cable bracket, the clutch slave, the flex line and clips lowered hard line, lowered hard line bracket, clutch master cylinder with nuts, rubber line with clamp, upper hard line bracket for upper hard line, clutch fluid, clutch fluid reservoir with cap, um, clutch pedal assembly, brake pedal assembly, uh, shifter assembly, shifter boot shift knob, shifter cables, and of course you could get the cluster and the ECU, but we're gonna leave that, the automatic ones in there, so it's actually a lot of stuff. Um, but once transmission out, everything else becomes more accessible and easy to take out. So I'll put you guys on the GoPro, start taking off whatever we can, and we'll keep you guys up. So we already ran into some issues. Uh, the previous owner, I don't know who you are, uh, decided to weld this cross member right here on it. Um, doesn't give us access to some of the bolts in the transmission. Um, this car was not taken care of at all. Like we're looking at everything and I don't even trust it to be honest. We're considering on just taking whatever we can that's super accessible and then going to another junkyard out in San Bernardino. I think there's two out there right now. Um, just to basically, I don't know, I just don't really trust this car. We're just gonna get whatever's accessible, we'll let you know what we got, and then from there we'll probably go to San Bernardino and look at the other eclipses. All right, we made it to the San Bernardino location. This thing burned, dude. Got on fire. And we pulled up to a 2G. Luckily, they had the transmission out for us already. Um, it is manual. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all. <laughs> All 
All right, so it's super sketchy to get this thing out, but it's out. Looks in decent condition, looks all complete. Now we're gonna focus on removing the rear motor mount right here. We're gonna need that. Um, we're also gonna need other miscellaneous pieces which you guys will see and we'll let you guys know everything that we got uh, towards the end of the video so you guys know what to do. What I see here, a first generation DSM. Took everything. Damn, what was this? Was it turbo or not? No, I think it was not. Oh no, it was turbo. Damn. It's an eagle, eagle talon. Uh, so we have the NVT53 manual transmission with shift arms. So we have the transmission, uh, the shift arms, I'm assuming it's these, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, speed sensor with gear, preferably installed on the transmission. Speed sensor is missing. There's another DSM in this junkyard, so we're going to go check right now. Um, I already got the 6-inch of wire with it. Reverse sensor, which is right here. We got that, and we got the wire for it. Clutch, throw bearing. We're going to get the new uh, transmission mount already on here. Just missing the bolts, we could get that later. Uh, then we have the rear roller stop bracket, which is the one that goes in the back of the motor. Uh, we don't need this centerpiece right here, but we do need this bracket, right? Yes. Yeah. Roll stopper, we have the driver side transmission mount bracket. That one should be on the transmission right here, so we're good on that. After that, we have the shift cable bracket. Is it this one? Yeah. It looks like it, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then we have the slave, honestly. It's high mileage, so I'm probably gonna get it new. Uh, that as long as well with the uh, master flex line and clips lower hard line. That's, That's what what's uh, messed up on the this right here. Yeah. Right? So we have this um, lower hard line bracket, which is this one. Which one? This one right here. That one. Yep. Yeah, this one right here. Um, it already comes with a master right here. I'm probably gonna get this new anyway, so we might just take this off. And then we have the clutch pedal assembly, which is this one. And then the brake pedal assembly, which is this one. Then we have the shifter base, which is right here. It didn't have the shift knob or the shifter boost, so I'll have to get that later. Um, and the shifter cables, those are really hard to get. Those are still on the car. And unfortunately, these are messed up, look. So we're actually gonna go check out the other DSM um, and see if we could get them from that one so we don't have to get these because these are pretty gross, so. Alright guys, we are now with the other Mitsubishi Eclipse. They already took out the ECU, they took out the hardline, they ended up cutting it. Um, the transmission's still intact, 
So from this car, we pretty much need uh, the shifter linkages for one, some of the bolts for some of the brackets in the rear motor mount and the transmission mount. Um, and that's pretty much it. After that, we did leave all the other parts with the other Eclipse, so hopefully they don't take them. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and take this off real quick, and once we have everything off, we'll get back to you guys. All right, guys, so we got what we needed. Um, we were able to get the shifter linkages. We got the wheelbarrow filled with all the parts. A lot of parts. Yep. I'll all let right. you guys know how much we end up paying total for all this, so you guys know, have an idea if you want to do it as well. I got all the parts and storage ready for the manual swap. I still do have to get things like the master cylinder, slave cylinder, all the fluids, clutch, flywheel, pressure plate, throw up bearing, uh, miscellaneous little bolts here and there, uh, shifter boot, uh, shift knob. And here's a little hint of what's to come. I don't know if you guys remember this thing, but that will be for another video. All right guys, we're pretty much done with gathering at least most of the parts around 90 percent of them i do have the receipt right here i want to show you guys how much i ended up spending so the grand total was 324 dollars and 90 cents and i do want to rate this as far as like how hard this is for someone that's just getting into it it's honestly really difficult unless one you have friends that are really knowledge knowledgeable with dsms or just cars overall um i want to rate it like it was honestly the transmission was already out so it wasn't too bad it, if the transmission was on there, it'd probably be like a six or seven as far as difficulty, especially in the conditions. We don't have access to all the tools. Um, it's out in the sun, it's out in the dirt. It's, it gets really nasty and stuff like that. So it's it's not the best conditions. Luckily, I did have um, Danny with me pretty much during the whole day to help me out. And also the transmission wasn't even on the block. So yeah, overall, I do want to rate this as far as hardship, uh, six out of 10. Uh, it's not easy, but it's not extremely difficult. Um, again, I do have people like Danny, Lazy, Carlos, and they're always helping out with the car and stuff like that. So it makes everything a lot simpler. I do like the environment when it's like your homies are around because if you can't do something, maybe your homie can and it just it makes everything a lot quicker. So um, again, uh, if you're new to the DSMs and you want to do this, uh, consider maybe paying a shop to do it or knowing someone that really knows how to work on cars because it's not something that's super easy to do. Um, I will be showing you guys the whole progress as far as how to do it and what to get. Um, so stay tuned, make sure you subscribe if you haven't, if you're new to DSM. And I'm pretty much gonna end the video. I'm gonna go grab something to eat. I'm super hungry, I'm super dirty, I wanna go shower. I'm gonna pretty much just start editing my video so I can post it up for you guys. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.